people are seeing different designs and wondering, well, what's in the water? Why does the paint float? Why does it stick to the silk? How come it doesn't wash out? Why doesn't it, you know, when you pick it up off the water, why doesn't it just fall off? They don't see all the work that happens behind the scenes before we can ever get to the pier. There's hours of preparation, recipes to be followed, methods that work and methods that don't. And if you don't have everything right, it won't be right. I like to tell the story that there was one uh, court artist who knew how to do the process of floating ink on water. And then they would blow across it with their breath or fan it to make the ink move. The water would move and the ink would move on top of the water. And um, it would create interesting patterns. And then they would lay a court document that had been signed by the emperor. So they would lay that down on top of the design, keeping in mind the ink has clear and pigmented properties. So you can have a clear ink because ink is a, a liquid. And then they add pigment to give it color. Or clear paint, if if you want to try that, and we'll we'll have some clear paint tomorrow. Um, but trying to use empty spaces, white is mm, it's got a lot of iffy stuff to it. Okay. Should I use my bandanas now, or can we use them later? Just use them later. Um, yeah, they're not prepped. Okay. So we can't use them now. We build on what we know to teach us the next level of understanding. Obviously, no one knows everything at the beginning. You learn in steps. Okay, so um, you're going to have your colors, and for every paint, you want to stir or shake it really well before you paint. Keep your arms and hands to yourself and be a little more compressed. So it's the same thing with the surface of the water. As, as you add more paint, there's less room for expansion. You teach them all those techniques, and then, You've worked with them step by step by step, and then you step back and you watch. I think I'm passing along little baby torches to all of my students, because any of my students can grow their business and, and build it in their own way, in their own community. And if they grow bigger than I am, that's perfectly fine with me. No luck, so. <laughs> all right, so. Happy birthday, Thank first of all. You. So what is it, 20? <laughs> no, she's legal fine. It's 21. <laughs> Let's go for a beer to hell with making scarf. Come on back. Um... If it was just about water marbling, I don't know if I would continue doing it. It's when Phil and I are doing it together that it has the most significance for me because it has become our life together. Phil's voice has changed a lot since we started our business. When I met him, he could sing. And now he can't really sing anymore. You're just too good to be true. Right, you ready? Yep, we got your fuchsia and my clear. 
We're good. Will Phil still be able to be that wonderful, funny voice for Mayu Silkart? Um, he's the one that gets in front of the crowd and gets people excited and helps people understand how much fun this is, where I tend to be more of a teacher. So as you fill the surface with the colors that you've chosen, they get compressed and they become more vibrant. So I don't think it'll ever be 100%. But for a while, he couldn't couldn't really work. He couldn't do the demonstrations, and so there was that. I guess there was that little bit of, well, what are we gonna do if you can no longer talk? Now that we have the place, and we signed a, a three-year lease, so now that we have the place in Huntington Beach, we might move to Huntington Beach or closer to Huntington Beach. And we like it over there, so that's fine. Um, but we still have a lot of debt to pay down, and Phil had surgery, had cancer treatment last year. I had cancer treatment this year. Both times it coincided with when we would have been looking for a new place to live, so we just didn't. What kind of tool, Nick? What one are you using right now? What kind of tool? Uh, 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 yeah. And then the beautiful baby. Nice. I'll do one more in case anybody is blinking. <laughs> one, two, three. And one more, say marble! Marble! So my uh, dream will come true when I have a work sink where I can do all this and I don't have to do it in my kitchen. And I mix all my paints in my kitchen. I mix all this in the kitchen. That's not a very big kitchen. We thought that we would pass our torch to Phil's son. And then he, he joined up because he was in a kind of a hard place in life. And um, so he jumped right in. He moved in with us and was fully working the business with us. And then he decided it wasn't for him. He, he probably didn't like all that work. He wanted something more structured. And he works well with structure, so that's okay. That was fine with us, you know. We're, we're not the kind of parents that will tell you you have to do the family business. Um, other kids of ours have jumped in to, at various times to participate in the art with us um, and running the business, but nobody has shown a particularly strong interest in taking the torch. But maybe that will happen. Maybe there will be somebody else. We've kept our eyes open. We've said we need somebody to run the studio with us. I will never get tired of water marbling. 
I will never get tired of seeing other people water marble for the first time. To make your red more red and your gold more gold and your blue more blue and your pink more pink. Just a little more paint anywhere. But make sure you break up that black. Whether physically I will get too tired to haul buckets of rinse water, yes. But that's what young people are for. <laughs> That's what dollies are for. I can always, you know, find someone else who's willing to lug the bucket so that I can teach them how to mop. So I can sit in a chair and teach. I don't have to be standing to water marble. I can water marble right here. So you stay there, I'll come to you. How's that sound? Look at how pretty it is. This part looks almost like flames. We're ready for you. And there's your first heart down at the bottom, almost like a little fairy. All right, that's gonna go in a baggie. Apparently, we're being joined. <laughs> slightly off camera there, dear. sit by you I might get sick <laughs> you're such a hooker all right <laughs>